an organization like USAA, 30,000 strong, how do you drive innovation in a company like that? Well, USAA, we have a mission that makes drives every decision we make at USAA. Every decision starts and ends with our members, and we've had a strong history of innovation. And as I've joined USAA, it's been my delight to find the system that we've created over time. We gather ideas from employees, from our members, from outside companies, and we are able to actually concept test them, build them, and if they're, they're working great, we'll move them to production. If they don't, we can actually retire them. So we have a great system. So how do you cut through the noise? What goes through? What processes? Because earlier, we heard from Ravi Manon at the Monetary Authority of Singapore and he says there's so much hype in the space. I agree there's a lot of hype so whether it's fintech, insure tech, trade tech, health tech, <laughs> you name it tech, um, red tech, um, there's a lot of noise in the system but so much opportunity and so much goodness that's being created with folks that are just trying to find ways to slightly disrupt the system to create better ways and, and better experiences for customers and in our case members and so it's a really exciting time but we have to have discipline and rigor on how we evaluate these companies and the true value they will bring to our membership. Regulation gets in the way of innovation. True or false? False. Has, okay. False. Um, regulation is there to protect the consumer, and for the most part, and to make sure we are taking, taking appropriate risks. That said, we have to follow the rules. Innovation still has to follow the rules of appropriate risk taking. And there's an opportunity for us to work with business partners and control partners in a big bank or insurance company like ours to make sure that we're still bringing innovation to our members and employees and at the same time protecting the institution. You can do both. Collaboration takes a different form in the world of fintech. It's no longer a case of collaborating within the industry but players outside your industry. Yes. Absolutely, and that's what's so exciting. And the new innovations that we can actually bring to bear and the speed at which we can do it and a relatively low cost that it can happen is what's so powerful and really groundbreaking with this next, next part of the digital evolution. So we're very excited. We've had a couple of key partners that we've leveraged in the past year to really bring new AI capabilities uh, into our servicing our membership, and it's very exciting. So how will that AI-first mentality play out in the next two to three years? What can we expect at USAA? Yeah, at USAA, there's a couple of key things. One, we are really focused on learning more about how you apply machine learning algorithms, how that translates into applying artificial intelligence. There's also a whole sector of robotic process automation and how do we focus on it. So what we see, and kind of on two clear vectors, we really want to focus on servicing our members. For Since 1922, we have been servicing our members well. That's not going to change, but new technologies will come and we have to evolve on how we engage with our members because we are no longer setting their expectations. Other great experiences outside of financial services are changing the way that they want to experience banking and insurance. So you look at the opportunities in customer service, and then the secondary area is really around risk and compliance and automating controls and making their processes faster, safer, and more reliable. That also contributes to a great member experience. You know, what do you see as a major choke point in getting to the goals? There are times when business as usual is really a gravitational pull, meaning you have to focus and fight for the business of today at the same time that you're helping to transform the business for tomorrow. And how you move both of those bodies of work in parallel is the struggle. And it makes hard choices at times with me, my colleagues across the business teams, but we work together to make sure we're making the right choices for the members today and tomorrow. You'll be sitting on a panel uh, with the topic redefining digital leadership. Is it true that the biggest obstacle to leadership in today's world is the leaders themselves? The fear of failure. Such a great question. And yes, um, if we leaders aren't going to have the focus and fortitude to continue pressing even when things get complicated, complex, and it's not clear on what your next move needs to be, we have to keep the resolve and keep pressing forward. And so you can't have a fear of failure. You have to have a willingness to learn and discover. So I'm trying to stay away from the fear of failure and focus on what's our learning velocity? What can we get out of this? We'll make mistakes along the way, but can we do it fast enough and quick enough and cheap enough that it, it doesn't impact our membership and allows us to continue the transformation? I was surprised to learn that only 13% of leaders know where the next biggest tech investment should be. Why is that and how do you disrupt your own business, put yourself 
with a competitive edge in this uh, digital uh, economy? Uh, I think it's a shocking statistic myself, right? Because we've introduced this concept at USAA where we all want to be business technologists. I want my business managers to really understand and empathize how technology can really enable new experiences for our members and help their business be more effective. At the same time, I need my technology people with a deep understanding of the outcomes they're trying to drive for our members. So bringing technology and business talent together is really the biggest opportunity that we have, and it's going to be the hardest challenge that we have. But that's how these great disruptors in the marketplace are actually moving with such speed and agility. They don't have business teams and tech teams and design teams. They all work on it together. And so that's the transformation we're driving at USAA. So where's your next biggest investment in tech? So our biggest focus right now is machine learning, artificial intelligence, and building an API platform. So those are the two corner key areas. Um, and then our next set of opportunities will really be around um, the collection of IoT data and really starting to get that connected life and our, our connected member and how we bring that to life for our membership. I, I know for a company like USAA, five years is quite a long time away. It's your long-term plan, but what would be, how would you define success? What be, do you need to achieve? There are going to be some key um, key metrics along the way, and they will start to shift. So the first Such year, is. we'll look at different as the second year. But if we can build that, that acumen around business technologists, one, that'll be a key indicator. Two, have we really created a true environment of agility, business agility across financial planning and how we pivot our dollars to invest in the right elements in the right moment, combined with experience owners in our business, combined with the technology teams. And if we can actually move ideas to reality reality or kill them and what kind of velocity can we create across those spectrums, that's the opportunity we have and that's what we're going to be watching for to see if we actually accomplish.